But to the man of the hour here, Damian Pierce, two targets, 6.2% target share, two catches, 20 yards, 20 carries for 80 yards and a touch, 35 snaps or 59% snap share, 18.1 PPR points. Had two fumbles that they both recovered, and the second one should 1,000% have been covered by the That Bears. was wild. That was so terrible. Just the... right between the guy's legs. Wow, that was and amazing. And after that second fumble, he didn't play a single snap after that. Well, it was only two drives, but yeah, it was all Burkhead after that, towards the end of the game. That that was a big, big bummer. Can't there. be fumbling Maybe. there. No, I mean. That would have definitely been the game, even though they lost. But Yeah, but I mean, Pierce, in the runs, though, he looked good. He had some juice. He's got a great, he's got a nice spin move. Um, not the greatest tackling by the Bears, but I mean the tackling was worse on the other side. Um, yeah, I mean he definitely is showing you something. I just I just can't get with behind you guys for trading him for a twenty three first or trading a twenty three first for him. Yeah, I mean no, I'm 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 still fine with it, man. I know nobody likes it. I know everybody mm-hmm. hates it. You can't sell the twenty three first, and it's, it's like it's, it's, it's lost I would, a subscriber. I don't, I don't know. I that don't I would, care. I don't know that I would trade a first for him at all. Yeah, I mean I I, I would. I to me it's like look. I know nobody likes to talk about the eyeballs, but it's like, man, he he has it. He has it. it. I know the Texans aren't awesome right now. We're playing fucking dynasty here. Like, if he's any good at all, you're not going to be able to get him for a 23 first. And every time he touches the ball, you're fucking holding your breath. You're like, oh, shit. He could take this one. Every single one seems like one he could take to the house. That's the kind of guy I want to put on my team. And in one year, you could be going from... The Texans to, hey, we got a good quarterback. Hey, we got an offense that moves the ball. We've invested some first round picks in our offensive line. They have first round picks. Like things can if change I'm quickly. A- Lovey Smith is not going to. He's the, he's the, going to be the fall guy. He's out of there after this year. Like he's not going to stay con- around. If, if you're a contender, if you're three and zero with putting up some huge points to start off the year with, and you want to trade your 23 first for Damian Pierce. Listen, if, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not advising anybody trade their 23 first if they're trash. I'm not saying that. Like that's that should go without saying. Uh, but that. I, no, I'm you not shouldn't tr- be trading your first away if you're terrible. I'm not saying if you're terrible, but if I'm a middle of the pack team, I don't know if Pierce is going to get you over the hump. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's it's be reasonable with any trading of 21 first. I think is 21 first or what 23 first. Future? Any first really like. You should be reasonable with trading your first away. You shouldn't just be willy nilly with trading the first away. That should go without saying. Um, yeah, just, it needs to be said sometimes. You're right. It does because, you know, that's why we're here. But I, I'm just I know nobody agrees with it, but it's just like, man, we're playing. I'm going to take some risks here and there and you can safeguard him. But it's like he showed what he showed in the preseason and it looks like it's transferred right over. Now he had two bad fumbles. He got in the end zone. He could have gotten the end zone again. He looks pretty good. And really, all you need for him to be really awesome is is to just take a little bit of that passing down work from Rex Burkett. But he's Burkhead. not doing, he's he not doing that. Probably. He's not doing that right now. He but got he's two a- for two for 21, and he broke a tackle on each of those catches, and they were nice, handsy catches. One of them was high, and he right. made an but it's, adjustment. It's not on third down. It's not yeah. in the two minute. And the pass protection from this man, he was fucking crushing it all game long. He's been great pass like, pro. He was, he was picking up blitzers. He was diagnosing the blitz, and he was he was meeting people straight on. Like He was giving Davis Mills times. He looked fucking awesome in pass protection. Had, had two costly fumbles, and the, but they weren't fumbles. Though. They weren't right. costly. They weren't lost. They, they, but they, they cost were, him time. They, they, it's costly in his in in the trust of Lovey Smith. Right. It's costly in the time when it happened and what what they saw from him. But I'm I'm still into it, man. Like I I just those are the kind of guys that I may and I'm not saying just go right out and send the first for Pierce. I'm just saying a last ditch effort if that's what you wanted to do. I'm fine with it. Like I would try to do other things and not just throw the first out there right away. But fuck, if you said, "Hey, but fuck, give me let's let's take Clyde edwards alaire in a two and try to go get Pierce." Let's go. Let's fucking go. I don't hate that. Clyde edwards alaire has never looked as good as Damian Pierce has looked in his first three games, and there is no reason that he shouldn't have been getting the amount of run he was getting in the last two games in the first game. And like I said. I just need him to be a little bit in there on third downs once in a while and be a little bit more in on on some two minute stuff. Rex Burkhead's thirty two fucking years old. Yeah, he's been unhealthy. He gets nicked, and all of a sudden, yeah, if he gets nicked, then we're at, or, or we just move forward, and Damian Pierce gets more and more comfortable yeah. moving forward. And it's like I'm just I'm very interested in buying Damian Pierce because I I I like what I see. I'm not going to go crazy, and it's, I'm not going to 
like I said, throw the first right out there and say, let's get him. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it wouldn't break a deal for me if that's what it took to get him. And I, and I feel good about my team and the way it's built and how I am moving forward. And I'm not going to be a top four pick in the league. I'm also worried a bit, a bit about how these first couple games have gone, where the Texans have been in the games. What happens when the Texans are behind by three scores? That's, and that's, that's really fair. what does it for me and not be on the, like, let's sell that first because it's at the end of the it's day. A it's a short-term it's the thought, Texans. but, yeah, it's the Texans. It's the Texans, and I get that it's Dynasty, but it's it's hard to envision them right now being any good. It took them playing a shitbox team, even though they, they All of a sudden, they were terrible. They got Deshaun Watson, and they're in the fucking playoffs most of the time. Like, it just it doesn't take long to turn this thing around, man. Yeah, the defense isn't that good either. The defense wasn't that great. They got J.J. Watt, and there was, I can, we'll take that back. There was some times where that defense was pretty good, but... Deshaun was there, and there was you wanted every fantasy player on that fucking offense. Like, it just it takes a, a one quarterback, and you're fu- and you want the players on the offense. Like, yeah, it's, hard to find that quarterback sometimes. I mean, sure. Look at what the Browns gave away. That's, just to that's get him. maybe you get the one one. I mean, yeah, sure, but they don't. You don't have to have the greatest quarterback of all time, and now, but you are still probably going to be allotted at an opportunity to have. The pick of whatever quarterback you want in this draft. And probably an upgrade as well, too. Right. And, and I, just, I do think Damian Pierce has showed enough to not worry I like about him getting replaced well, next year either. And, and that, that, that would be my biggest concern with this is that it's not their guy and they draft somebody else. That's that. That's, that is that guy. to me. I mean, they, they drafted him, right? So, I and that's a good that works in both ways because I don't think Lovey Smith is the guy. And like when we talk with JB, there's no way Lovey Smith they didn't let Lovey Smith draft anybody this year. You know, there's no way that they thought he was the long term. Yeah. Fix how much? For how this. much does Casario like Lovey Smith? Right. Not. Not. He's gone. I pretty much. I bet whatever you want on that. That he's not making it through this year. He was simply. Hey, we're firing the guy that we have. We need to fill somebody else in. Nobody would take this position. Lovey Smith will take this position. It's going to look good for us. We just came out of some bad shit. Yeah. Lovey Smith is going to look good for us as far as who we're hiring. Nobody wants to be the head coach here. Yeah. Let's come in. Let's have some first round picks. And then we'll be able to get a quarterback and go move forward with whoever yeah. we want. Moving and, and, and the coach we bring in will have an opportunity to get the quarterback he likes. Sure. So... I'm just I know nobody likes to go on the eyeball test and it's it's not the eyeball test is good. Though you can't be you can't. Well, that's what I'm saying. But now that's what people are going to be like. Well, you can't just do that off the eyeball test. And it's like, man, I'm sorry that I like watching football. Sorry, I don't yeah, want to just you, look at the fucking spreadsheet and be like, there's no way this can be good because of this, that and that. And it's like he looks fucking good. Play the game. How you want to play the game? I'm, I'm, I'm playing the game with all the information that I can get. And, and part of the information that you can get is watch the actual fucking games. A lot of it. man. And which I, I know a lot of people don't really like to do, especially a lot of people who are telling you what to do. They like to just wait for those fucking box scores to tell you, come out and tell you who you should draft and who's good and who isn't. And it's like, ah, let's, let's watch some football here. Uh, and, you know, all eyes aren't created equally. I'm not saying my eyes are the best eyes, but I'm saying they're better than the average person watching football's eyes. Just like all, like, I'm not really sure why we need more than, like, seven analytical guys doing fantasy football like if it's all about the numbers why do i need any more than like seven analytical guys to tell me what the fuck's going on you know so tell me how you really feel yeah if you have hate in your heart let it out i don't even have hate in my heart for anybody it's just let's fucking let's ride damian pierce let's ride. i never thought i'd be here but i'm here double hate